I didn't decide to be an artist. I really don't think people become artists unless they have to. And at 16, I did my first painting, and I knew from that moment on that that's what I was going to be doing with my life. I had a really very difficult childhood, and I think I was looking for windows, doors, outlets, sources of oxygen. I'm an artist, and it was only logical that eventually my love of stamps would uh, wend its way into my studio work. It all started when I was in the second or third grade, and the little fat boy across the street bought a Ritz cracker box full of stamps for show and tell in my class. I remember very distinctly the stamps that were in that box. Then it progressed. I started collecting stamps myself, and I became involved in correspondence art, or mail art, and artist stamps. An artist stamp is any work of art in any medium as a postage stamp, usually to that scale and perforated. That's the little holes around the edge of the stamp. I decided I need to take the next step, so I have my own country, Terra Candela, and I issue postage stamps for my country, and I have cancels and all the paraphernalia that any regular government post office would have. In the 1800s, late 1800s, when there were locations that weren't served by the post office, some unbridled capitalist would set up their own postal system. It was called a local post. I started a local post. There's a whole group of people today who are interested in local post uh, as just a hobby or a toy. So they issue stamps, etc., but they don't really serve any postal purpose. The postal inspector came to see me because they were concerned I was defrauding the government with my stamps, which I never did. The man came initially and he wanted to know what was going on and what, you know. So I said, well, I can explain it from either an artistic or a philatelic point of view. Both words left him, you know, lost, of course. I didn't talk to him. He was completely baffled. And when he left, I said, you know, I'm sure someone within your organization, i.e. the United States Post Office, you know, has some knowledge of stamps when you find that person. I'll talk to them. 